Yeah, we need the pimp name. Hi everyone, give me a wave if you can hear me. Good. Super, right, I'm gonna quickly explain what we're gonna do today. We've got a bit of a varied session going on. So we're gonna start with a bit of lower leg conditioning, um, which you're gonna need a weight, some weights or some tins of food for. We're then gonna do a few running drills. Some of you will have done these with me before. So if you have done them with me before, you'll recognize them, so you should be doing them absolutely perfectly. And then we're just gonna finish off with a little bit of going through some positions for our arms and feet for ballet, because for both men's and women's gymnastics, it's actually really important that we can be nice and artistic, because actually our floor routines, and for the girls, your beam routines, get judged on artistry, and doing some of this, some of the ballet positions, will really help you, and it will also increase your ankle strength and your arm strength, because you actually have to be able to hold your arms up for quite long periods of time. But that'll be a little bit at the end of the session. So don't worry if you're not so keen on that. But we're gonna get started with some leg conditioning. So. Same format as normal, it's going to be 30 seconds on and 15 seconds rest. We are going to start with one weight, you're going to hold the weight in both hands. You're going to start with your feet apart, holding it, the weight in front of you with nice straight arms, sort of just below your tummy button. And then you're going to do a lunge to the side and you're just going to do a bicep curl bringing your weight into your chest. Like that, so that's exercise number one. For exercise number two, you're gonna put your weight down. You're just going to do uh, squat jumps, so feet apart, knees forwards, and explosive pushes off the floor. Then for number three, you're gonna need both weights. So you're gonna hold both. You're gonna put your right leg in front. Your right leg's gonna stay in front. You're going to do lunges, pushing your knee forwards over your toe. Just going down and back up getting your knee as close to the floor as you can without letting it touch. You're then gonna, for exercise number four, gonna swap and do it on your left side. For exercise number five, you're gonna put your weights down. Into front support, we're gonna do mountain climbers, everybody's favorite. Then, even better, exercise number seven is, no, number six is burpees. So big jump down to front support, big jump up. If you want to make it even harder, add a press up in. And then for the last one, you're gonna grab one weight again. You're gonna hold it in your right arm and above your shoulder. So it's just gonna sit above your shoulder like this. You're gonna squat, do a nice deep squat. And as you stand up, you're just gonna push that weight down. So you're gonna do that. And then for the last 30 seconds, you're gonna swap arms and do exactly the same on the other side. So everybody jump up, get ready. We're starting with lateral lunges. So you're gonna need one weight, holding it in both hands. And we're gonna do our side lunges. So, holding the weight, getting ready for 30 seconds on, 15 seconds rest, we're gonna do it twice through. Ready, steady, go. Lunging to the side, making sure you're keeping your other leg nice and straight, your back's nice and straight, and don't stick your bum out. Really push your knee forwards over your toe. Make sure your toes are facing forwards. That's it, good job. Make sure your arms go back down to nice and straight in front of you. That's it, good job. Keep it up. Finishing in three, two, one, and rest. Well done, pop your weights down. We're moving on to squat jumps. So feet apart. We're gonna push our knees forwards over our toes and a big jump off the floor as high as you can go. Getting ready in three, two, one, and go. Squat forwards, big jumps off the floor. Really explode up to the ceiling, using those arms to help you. Really think about explosive movement here. Try and get as high as you can. Good job. Nearly finished, keep it up. That's it, good work everybody. Finishing in three, two, 
One and rest. Well done. This time we're moving on to right leg run lunges. So grab both of your weights, holding them in different hands, putting your right leg in, full, in the front, and we're going to squat down to lift our knee off, just off the floor. Ready? In three, two, one, and go. So right foot forwards. We're pushing our knee forwards over our toes, getting down as low to the floor as we can without letting our back knee touch it. It's really important that that back knee doesn't touch the floor. Good work, everybody. Again, trying to keep your backs as straight as possible. So imagine you've got a string attached to your head and it's attached to the ceiling. So you should be pulled up to the ceiling. Good job. Finishing in three, two, one, and get ready to swap legs. So this time, put your left leg in the front. We're going to do exactly the same on the left side. Good job, everyone. Getting ready in three, two, one, and go. So left knee in front, pushing your knee forward over your toe. Right leg should just not touch the floor, but it should be close. Good job, everybody. Keeping those backs nice and straight. Well done. 10 seconds to go of this one. Good job, keep those arms nice and straight by your sides. Three, two, one, and rest, well done. Next, putting our weights down, we're in front support, we're gonna be doing our mountain climbers. So make sure your weights are out the way so you don't accidentally trip over them. Five seconds, going in three, two, one, and front support mountain climbers. Nice, fast feet here. Try and keep your backs nice and straight, don't let your bum come up too high or go down too low. Don't see any archy backs. Good job, everybody. That's it. Keep your shoulders pushing forwards over your hands. Don't let your shoulders go too far backwards. That's it. Well done. Nearly done now. Keep going. Finishing in three, two, one, and rest. Well done. Next up, we've got burpees. These are the worst ones, so you're just going to try your best. Nice big jumps in the, between each one. Getting ready, five seconds to go. Ready in three, two, one, and go burpees. Nice big jumps in the middle. Try and jump up nice and tall, arms up by your ears. Oh, I'm seeing a couple of people adding press ups in. Good job, you guys. Well done, that's it, well done everyone. Super work, nearly done now, keep it up. Finishing in five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Well done. That was the hard one. Right, grab your weight. We're going back to doing our squats, and we're going to push our arm up nice and tall. So getting ready in three, two, one. Holding your weight in your right hand. You're going to squat down, and then push it up towards the ceiling. Again, try and make it a nice deep squat. Make sure your knees are pushing forwards over your toes. Your toes should be facing forwards. Keeping that back nice and straight. Well done, everyone. Good control here. That's it, good work. Make sure those toes are facing forwards. Don't let them face outwards. Finishing in three, two, one, and rest. Well done, get ready to swap hands. We're doing exactly the same, but this time our weight's gonna be in our left hand. So, last one, then you're gonna get 30 seconds of rest. Getting ready in three, two, one, and go. So, squatting down. Make sure your feet are just a bit wider than your shoulders. So they should be at least in line with your shoulders, if not a bit wider. And then make sure those toes are facing forwards and that your knees are going forwards over your toes. Halfway done with this one. Well done, everyone. Good job. Nearly finished. Keep it up. Keep those backs nice and straight. That's it. Three, two, one, and rest. You've got 30 seconds. You can get yourself a drink if you need to. I'll tell you when you've got 50 seconds to go. We're gonna go back and starting with our lateral lunges. So holding, it in both, holding the weight in both hands and doing our side to side lunges. 15 seconds to go. Make sure you're ready, grab your weight if you need to. 10 seconds to go. I'll count down from five, 
Starting in five, four, three, two, one, and go. So side to side lunges. Lifting that weight up in front of you. Make those lunges nice and wide. So your feet should be quite wide here. And then trying to go down as low as you can. Good work, everyone. Keep it up. Make sure that weight stays directly in front of your body. That's it, good work. Nearly done now, finishing in three, two, one, and rest. Well done, pop your weight down, feet apart. We're gonna be doing our squat jumps next. So feet apart, pushing, make sure our toes are facing forwards. Nice big bend and then jumping up towards the sky. Ready in three, two, one, and go. So remember our explosive movements, try and push off the floor as hard as you can. Get as high off the ground as you can manage. Good job. If you can manage to jump so high that your head disappears off your screen, that's quite impressive. Well done, keep it up halfway there. Good, well done. Make sure those feet stay nice and wide apart. Well done. Finishing in three, two, one and rest, well done. Right, up next we've got right leg lunges. So grab both of your weights, right foot in front and we're gonna do our right leg lunges. Five seconds to go. Ready in three, two, one and go. So remember nice straight backs, bend down far enough so your knee almost touches the floor but not quite. Try not to let it rest down on the floor. That's it, good job. Keep going. Make sure your toe is facing forwards and you're pushing your knee forwards over your toe. Don't let that knee go sideways or wibbly. Good job. Nearly done now. Nice straight backs. Three, two, one, and rest. Well done. So swap sides, put your left leg in front. Doing exactly the same on our left leg. Let's give your legs a bit of a shake if you need to. That's it. Ready in three, two, one and go. That's it, so nice low lunge. Keep that back straight. Don't let that knee touch the floor at the back. Keep it off the floor. Good job. That's it, well done everybody. Good work here. Keep it up. Super job, keep those backs nice and straight for me. Finishing in three two, one, and rest. Well done, pop your weights down. We're moving on to our mountain climbers. So back into front support and nice fast runs, bringing our knees right into our chests. Getting ready in three, two, one, and uh, mountain climbers, nice and fast. Keep those bums down nice and low. Don't let that bum creep up to the sky. That's it, good job. Well done, you're te over 10 seconds in. Keep it up, keep that your shapes nice and tight. Squeeze your core. Good job. Bend those knees, bring them right into your chest. That's it, good job everybody. Nearly done, three, two, one, and rest. Well done, right. Next up's everybody's favorite, we've got burpees. Remember you can add a press up in if you're feeling super duper strong. So, ready in five. Four, three, two, one, and burpees. That's it. Jump up nice and tall. Good job, everybody. Well done, everyone. That's it. Keep going. Remember, when we jump into our front support shape, we should keep our backs nice and tight, so I don't want to see any soggy bellies going down to the uh, floor. Keep your chest up tall. Well done. You're nearly finished. Keep going, three, two, one, and rest. Well done, good job, right. Grab one of your weights again. We're doing our squats with our big arm extensions up to the ceiling. You've got two exercises left, so one minute of work. Ready in three, two, one, and go. Squat down nice and low. Remember our feet should be apart, our toes should be facing forwards, and we should be pushing our knees forwards over our toes. That's it, good job. Make sure your feet are at least shoulder width apart, if not even a little bit further. 
Well done, everybody. Think about, are you keeping your backs nice and straight? Are your heads looking up tall? Finishing in three, two, one, and rest. Right, well done. Get you ready in the other hand. This is your last exercise, and then we're moving on to something different. So, ready to do your squats with your arm extensions in your left hand. Ready in three, two, one, and go. That's it. So remember, your weight should come down to just above your shoulder like Josie. Don't let it go down any further. That's it. So remember, you're going to do your squat and then pushing up to the ceiling. That's it. Good job. Well done, everybody. Nearly finished. Keep going. Make sure we're bending our knees nice and deep. Finishing in three, two, one, and rest. Well done. Right, grab yourselves a drink. You all worked really hard in that, good job. Right, I'm gonna explain what we're gonna do next while I see you all having the drink. We're gonna do a few running drills. These are things you don't need a lot of space for them. You need about two or three steps forwards and backwards maybe. So you should be okay. We're gonna do about, I think I've got five things here. And we're just going to have a quick practice of them because they will help you when we come back to doing our vault and our tumble, having a lovely strong run so that we get as much power as we need. So the first one we're going to start with is Josie's going to show you. She's going to do it to the side so you can see. You're going to step forwards and go into a lunge with either foot in front, it doesn't matter which. You're going to make sure your opposite arm comes in front. So you should be in a sort of right angle apart, well not right angle, but fingers should be facing the ceiling, it should be, your elbow should be parallel to the floor, and then you're going to drive your other knee up nice and fast, and swap your knee like that. So you're going to go down, she's going to show you in real time, so she squats down, and then she drives up off the floor, and then goes down, and drives up off the floor. Do a couple, and then change direction so you don't run out of space. Have a go at those. So the really important things is like when we were doing our conditioning, when we did our one leg squats, we're keeping our knees nice and low and then we're driving upwards. So give that a go for me, everybody. I'm watching. Well done. That's it. Good job, everyone. If you don't want to add the hop in, that's fine. I just want to see a nice fast drive where you lift up onto your toe. Good, well done. Make sure those arms don't come up too high because we don't run with our arms up like this. They should sort of stay by our sides like this. So just make sure you're thinking about where those arms are going as well. Well done, everybody. Super job, right. Moving on. Next one I'm going to do is we're going to do a little bit of high knee stuff. So we all know what high knees are. You might need to do this one on the spot and that's absolutely fine. When we're doing our high knees, Josie, just come to the middle for me. Our knees should be up in a right angle like this. You can, if you want to have your toe pointed or you can have it flexed, it's up to you. Again, it should be your opposite arm coming up in front. And then you're just gonna do that and then you're gonna swap sides. So Josie's gonna show you. If you have the space, make it move forwards. If you don't have a lot of space, just do it on the spot. What I want to see is that your knees are coming up nice and high, but not so they're kicking your, hitting your chin. They should be in a right angle and parallel to the floor and that you're using your arms. So everybody give that a go for me. That's it. So give that a go. Make sure his knees are coming up nice and high. What we're going to do, I'm going to give everyone a quick practice and then we're going to do 30 seconds of high knees all together. So you can either do it on the squat or moving forwards and backwards in your room, depending on how much space you have. Good. Make sure it's the opposite arm coming in front. So it should be the other arm to the knee that's lifted. Go back to doing it slowly if that confuses you. Right. Good job, everyone. Right, we're going to do 30 seconds of high knees all together. So everybody get ready, 30 seconds all together. Ready, steady, go, 30 seconds, nice high knees. Using those arms, making sure your knees are coming up so they're parallel with the floor. Your knees should be in line with your hips. Good, are you using your arms everybody? Are those arms being worked alongside you? Well done, that's it, good work. 
Keep it up. Knees coming up nice and high. Don't let them go down. Good job, everybody. That's it. Well done. And rest. Good job. So a couple of things I noticed in that is that a few of us had a little bit no, low knees. So some of our knees were down here, like this. All the time when we're doing high knees, they should be in line with our hips. They should be in line with where your hip is, so they're coming up nice and high. But on the whole, good job, everybody. Right, next exercise is, this one's gonna feel a bit strange. So some straight leg running. You're gonna make sure that when you do it, your foot that goes on the floor is flat, so we're not staying on our tiptoes. We're going flat footed, so come here for me, guys. When we're doing it, it's working our hamstring muscles and our calf muscles. And we're gonna kick our legs out nice and straight in front of us. So Josie's gonna show you. You're gonna run forwards, nice straight legs, and then just do a couple of steps and then turn around, go back in the other direction. So the most important things here is that our feet stay nice and flat. We don't run on our tiptoes and we're kicking our other leg out in front of us. Can I see everyone giving that a go for me? That's it, I'm seeing some people giving it a go. Josie's gonna keep doing it in the background in case you're confused. Other things to remember with this one is we're still using our arms. So make sure those arms are still being used. Make sure our legs stay nice and straight and try not to lean backwards. Try and keep your body nice and tall. It is a bit of a funny one and it feels really strange, but it is really good at building up our leg muscles so that we can run really fast. That's it, good job. Good, well done. Right, we're gonna progress that one. So we're gonna make it a little bit difficult. When we actually do our run, we rarely run with our feet flat on the floor. The uh, reason we're doing it with our feet flat on the floor to start with is to build up our leg muscles. But when we actually run for vault or tumble, we use our toes and our heels because that is what makes us move forwards. So this time you're gonna do exactly the same, but rather than doing it on flat feet, I would like you to try landing on your toes first and going through your heels. So Grace is going to show you. So you should go toe and then put your heel on the floor before swapping legs. Give that a go, it is a bit weird and it feels a bit strange, but I just want you to have a go doing something a little bit different. So make sure you're landing on your toe first and then going onto your heel. If you're finding that a bit tricky, don't be afraid just to go back to doing it flat footed. That's also absolutely fine. I would like everybody to do five length going backwards and forwards, and then we're going to move on. So everybody moving forwards and backwards five times. That's it. Good job. Make sure you're using those arms. Good. Well done, everybody. Try and keep those legs nice and straight still. That's it. Well done, okay, hold it there. The last one we're gonna do is going back to our high knees. So everybody just stop your straight leg running. That's it. Going back to our high knees, we're gonna do three high knees and then we're gonna use our power and our leg muscles to do a big hop in the air on one foot. So you're gonna do three high knees and then a big hop. So Josie's gonna show you. Give it a go, one, two, three, hop, one, two, three, hop. Now, you've got to remember that on the hop, we're not changing feet. You should hop on one foot and land on the same foot. So try not to get your feet in too much of a muddle and give it a go for me. That's it. Again, making sure that our knees are coming up nice and high and we're using our arms. That's it, good job. Good job, everyone. Good thing, key thing to think about is are your knees nice and high or are they dropping a bit to the floor? Are those knees bent? Are you using your arms? Again, I would like everybody to do, let's say 10 forwards and backwards of those for me. So you've got 10 forwards and backwards of your three runs and a hop. Well done, that's it. Make sure your knees are coming up nice and high. Good job, everybody. That's it. So 
Super. When you've done your 10, going forwards and backwards, you can go and grab yourselves a drink and we'll move on to our next bit. Well done, everyone. Super. Right. Let's see. I think most people are finished now. Good. So the last bit we're going to do for the last sort of 15, 10, 15 minutes is a bit of ballet. I used to do ballet and I have always said that it really helped me in my gymnastics because it helped make sure my ankles were nice and strong and that I could do my floor routines really nicely. This is also really important for the boys because you also get marks from the judges for artistry. So how good, how nice you can look doing your floor routines. And I'm sure there are many of us here who have missed doing floor routines or um, will be doing floor routines in the future and you want to make sure you're, you're as good as possible. I've seen a, a couple of people have said that they did ballet for a few years. So you'll find this easy peasy. You might even be able to teach me. So, we're going to start with positions of the feet. So, if everybody would like to jump up, we're going to start. There are five positions for our feet to go in. The first position, and they're just numbered one to five. That's all they're called. So, we're going to start with first position. As you can see, Josie is in our first position. So, your heels should be touching, and your toes should be pointing outwards. They should not be pointing outwards so far that it makes your knees hurt. So I don't see anybody trying to get their feet facing all the way out, but at the cost it makes their knees go a bit soggy. So let's have a look. Is everybody showing me their first position? Good. So make sure those legs are nice and straight. That's it. Well done. So, so number two, so that's first position. We've then got second position, which is the same, but our feet are apart. So our toes should still be facing outwards, but this time our feet are apart. And we should have a nice straight back. They shouldn't be so far apart that you're wobbling, because otherwise you're just gonna wobble everywhere. They should be quite relatively close. They should be in line with your shoulders. So like when we were doing our squats. Nice straight backs and nice straight legs. Everybody show me. Good, well done. Uh, then we have third position. So some of you will recognize this, it's quite like what we do in our gym when we line up to do our present. This time you're gonna put one foot in first position and then the other heel goes halfway between your first heel and your second, first foot's toe. So you should have your feet sort of like this if that makes sense. Let's have a look. Again, don't make those toes go so far out that it hurts your knees. They should be quite, they shouldn't be facing forwards, but they should sort of be facing just slightly to the sides. Nice job, everybody. Make sure his knees are nice and straight for me. Good. Then we've got fourth position, which is the same, but you're just gonna move your foot slightly further forwards. So it should still, if you're thinking about your third position, you then just slide your foot slightly forwards so that it's just turn to the side for me, guys. Like that. Again, it shouldn't be very wide. You should imagine that it should be the width of your, or the length of your foot. So you should be able to put, if you had a third foot, your third foot should be able to fit just between your first and second foot. Everybody show me. Make sure your hips are facing forwards. I don't want to see anybody turning their hips to the side like this. We should be facing forwards where our first foot, our front foot is. Give that a go for me. Good, well done everybody. Beautiful. And then the last position is fifth position. This is quite similar to third position, but instead of our second heel being halfway between our first foot heel and toe, it's in line with our toes. So it's just in line with our toes, a little bit further forwards, still touching our first foot, but touching the toes of our first foot. Good job, everybody. Make sure his knees are nice and straight and you're pulling up nice and tall for me. Good, well done. Right, we're gonna move on to arms. So, most of the time you'll do lovely gymnast arms. We'll have our arms stretched out to the side like this, but 
for a few things, we, we do like to see nice ballerina arms. So our first position, you're going to do it with your feet as well to remind you of your feet. Your arms are going to imagine you're holding a super big balloon in front of your tummy. So your arms are in front, your elbows should be slightly bent, but not like this. Our shoulders should be down and we should be looking up nice and tall. Everybody show me. Very nice, everybody. Beautiful, right, our second position. Our feet are apart and our arms are gonna follow and go apart like this. Again, we don't want super straight arms. We want them to be slightly bent and to be our fingers to be nice and loose and our elbows to be pointing down slightly. You should be able to see your fingers in your peripheral vision if you're looking. So they shouldn't be all the way out to the back. They should be slightly in front of your body. Good, and make sure your feet are in your lovely second position. Good job, everybody. Make sure those backs are nice and straight for me. Well done. Right, third position. Show me third position with your feet. So we've got one foot and then our second foot is halfway between our heel and our toe. For this one, our arms, one arm is gonna be in first, second position and one arm's gonna be in first position. And then you can also swap feet and do it the other side as well. God, Tracy, you're remembering your ballet training here, aren't you? <laughs> right, good job, everybody. So things to remember is our elbow should be up nice and high, not up to our ear, not down here. It should just be up nice. And again, the same with our other elbow, it shouldn't be dropping down. It shouldn't be going up to our ear. It should be nice and out to the side. Beautiful jobs. Well done, everybody. This looks very nice. Right, fourth position. So our foot is in four. Our arm now just goes up to above our head like this. It should be the same arm as the foot that is in front for this. So whatever foot you've got in front, I would like the same arm to go up by your ear. Good, well done. Swap side, show me trying it on the other side. So this time your other foot's in front and your other arm comes up. Nice and tall. Again, look at, if you look at Josie, you'll see that her arm is slightly bent. It's not straight. It's not touching her head. It's slightly bent, so we have a nice round shape. And then the last one we're going to do is fifth position. So our toe, our second heel, should be touching our first foot's toes, and our arms come up in a nice balloon shape to above our head. What I don't want to see is your arms going too far backwards or like that. You should be able to see them in your peripheral vision like we talked about earlier. And they should be nice and bent in your balloon area. So what we're going to do is I'm going to say a position at random. You're going to show me that position with your arms and legs. So everybody give yourself a shake. Give those arms a shake. Okay. Can everybody show me third position? Who can show me third position with their arms and legs? Well done, super job. Who can show me first position? That's it, arms come in front, they should be in line with your tummy button. Who can show me fifth position? That's it, copying Josie if you're not sure. Beautiful, remember you should be able to see those fingertips. Well done. Who can show me first? No, second position we've done first. Who can show me second? Good. So make sure those elbows are up nice and tall and our arms are slightly bent to the sides. Good job, everybody. And who can show me fourth position? To the front. One arm goes up to your ear. Nice and tall. Good job, everybody. Wow, well done. Who can show me fourth on the other foot? Well done. Super jobs, remember? Same arm goes up by your ears, the foot that's in front. Beautiful job, right. Everybody go back to your first position for me. So, we're gonna start like this. What we're gonna do is a demi plie. So, for any of those who know French, demi means small, and plie means a bend of the knees. So, a demi plie is a small bend of the knees. So all you're gonna do with your feet in first position, you're just gonna bend your knees slightly and then come out. Key things to watch 
for is to make sure that your knees are going over your toes. What I don't want to see is your knees going in or you try to push your knees too far out backwards. You should also make sure that you have a lovely straight back. So do your demi pujos. What I don't want to see is that when she bends, she looks like this. Yes? So, everybody have a quick practice of a demi plie. So just bend those knees slightly and then straighten. And what we're going to do is all together, we're going to do four demi plies and then we're going to hold a demi plie for eight counts. So everybody, show me you're ready, show me your first position. Ready, steady, demi plie, one. And stretch, two, stretch, three, stretch, four, and stretch, and five, hold it for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and stretch. Good job. That was not bad at all, everybody. A few things I saw, I saw a few bums sticking out, so make sure your bum is tucked under your hips and your back's nice and straight. So we're gonna do that one more time for me. So everybody in your first position, feet to ankles together, or heels together even. And ready, steady, plie one, and stretch. Two, stretch, three, stretch, four, stretch, and five, hold it, one. Two, straight backs, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job, everybody. Right, we're now gonna stand in our second position. So feet out to the side in second. We're gonna do exactly the same. So we're gonna do another demi plie. So we're just gonna bend our legs. It should not be very low. It should just be a tiny little, we don't want that. That is not what we want. So it should just be a tiny little bend like Josie there. And then we're just gonna stretch. So everybody show me a second, a demi plie in second. Good, well done. Again, make sure your knees are pushing out over your toes. Your toes should be facing slightly to the side, but not too far. So, ready, we're gonna do exactly the same in second position. So, four demi plies and then hold it for eight. Ready, steady, go, plie one, and stretch. Two, stretch, three, stretch, four, stretch, and five, hold it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, good job, give your legs a shake. Well done. The last thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna talk about one last thing. We're gonna put our feet back in our first position. We're gonna do your, you might know this as calf raises. We're gonna call them demi point for this exercise. So when we go on our demi point, we just lift our heels off the floor so that we're pushing up over our toes like that. And we just lift and come down. It's exactly the same as when we do our calf raises with our, our feet together, but this time our heels are just together and our toes are facing the side. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do eight uh, demi point lifts and then we're gonna hold the last one for eight seconds. Yes, so everybody show me you're ready by starting in first position. Ready, steady, lift, one, and lower. Two, lower three, lower, four, lower, five, lower, six, lower, seven, lower, eight, and lower, and now lift and hold, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well done, everybody. Give your legs a shake. Well done, that was a really good effort with that. I think ballet is really, really important for gymnastics and that you can never have enough ballet and you can never really have enough dancing either because I used to love dancing when I was little. If you would like to do more things like that, I suggest that you look on Instagram, if you have Instagram or if your parents have Instagram and they say yes, make sure you get your grown-ups approval first. And there is a lady on there called Nicole's Artistry who does lots of really lovely routines, ballet routines. Um, to music. She does lots of Disney ones. I've seen lots of uh, Little Mermaids and things like that. 
and she does some really good ones that are really good for strengthening your ankles. So if you'd like to have a bit more of a go at that and you practice some of those routines and you send them to me, I'll be really, really happy. Right, well done today, everybody. You all did an absolutely awesome job. So I'm going to say goodbye and I might see some of you tomorrow for tomorrow's session. Bye-bye, everybody.